So option D, this is actually a paper that I didn't actually do during my high school years, but uh, I had a look and it's quite an interesting topic. The first thing we're going to talk about is transient polymorphism, and we needed to talk about what it is or describe it. Now this occurs when there are two or more alleles in the gene pool. Say for example, the um, uh, there's a particular type of moth that was found uh, during the Industrial Revolution in England, and normally it had it has two particular alleles, one for a black coloured moth, one for a white coloured moth. Now one of those alleles is being rapidly replaced. That's why it's transient. Transient means that it's only there temporarily. In the case of the moth, the uh, the white moth was being the white moth allele rather was being replaced by the black moth allele because the black moth allele uh, the black moths were more well adapted to the polluted environment than the white moths. And then due to the large um, external pressures, which in this case was the, uh, was the additional pollution found in the Industrial Revolution environment. So remember those three points and give an example. The easiest example I've found is moth melanism. Melanism, melanism is uh, the blackness of the moth. Now the sex, second question that we're going to talk about is punctuated equilibrium, affecting the pace of evolution. And punctuated, you think of stop and start. Uh, and punctual evolution refers to um, a rapid burst of evolution followed by periods of stability. So you've got lots and lots of evolution, and then you have a quiescent period where there is uh, limited evolution uh, within that particular period. And this is uh, evident. This uh, provides evidence for a few um, different uh, phenomena which are found in the world. But before we get to that, um, let's talk about the stable side of things. So during periods of stability, um, organisms are well adapted to the environment. They've got their uh, all the features that they need to survive. And because of that, they, the theory proposes that these organisms, they don't need to con continue to evolve because they're relatively happy. They're well adapted to their environment. And any deviation from there usually gets culled off. So say, for example, a, a giraffe, which has a relatively long neck. In that case, uh, if the giraffe was in the same environment, there was no sudden insult, then a giraffe with an extremely long neck, that would get um, killed off anyway, because um, it might have a disadvantage in their particular environment. So that particular point refers to the fact that natural selection maintains these characteristics. So that's the stability part of the punctuated equilibrium theory. Now what I'm talking about is the acceleration or the rapid burst of evolution. So after a catastrophic change, for example a media strike I've given uh, in this example, there's a rapid increase in rate of evolution. And this is because there is a big change in the environment, so the animals or the organisms, they need to rapidly evolve in order to keep up with the changes. So that's what I've written down in this last paragraph. This is in order to adapt to the sudden changes imposed.